As soon as an aspirant is completely free from all bodily consciousness, he attains Swarupa Siddhi. The revelation no. again. As soon as an aspirant who is aspirant? We all are sadhaka, we all are doing, we want to do that. We want to be silent, inspired for this. We want to do this, then we are... Experience. Huh? Experience. Yeah. And if we are aspirant, we have to come from free line. As soon as an aspirant is completely free from all bodily consciousness, yeah. then what we have to be? We have to free from bodily consciousness. Only I say that I am Radha Dasi, no. Never. We are not qualified to be. We want to enjoy, we want to control is a male conscious. Enjoying tendency is a male. We are not aspirant. We are not fit. We now become fit for that. <laughs> when we will fit, then we want to do that we want to come out from the bodily cancer, from the false ego, from the name and prestige. I am a guru, I am a leader, I am a sannyasi. I'm a Brahmin, I'm a Kshatriya, I'm a Vaishya, business, I have a big business. Anything, bodily consciousness, anything is there, we cannot do. I'm a yogi, I'm this, I'm a big manager. Impossible. I am want to be one thing, your servant. That is the meaning of as as aspirant. Say, when I stop, you have to say me that word. Yeah, you have to always open the book. What? What? Aspirants. Yeah. What is meaning of that? One who is sincerely seeking. Seeking. Sincerity is not there, nothing is going to happen. Seeking, wanting, right? Yes. Then it happens. My English is not good, you have to help me. That I cannot do wrong. Yeah? So that thing has to do my
As soon as an aspirant is completely free from all bodily consciousness, he attains Swarupa Siddhi. Then, automatically, Yadi Vatan Nothing can differ stopping you. At the moment you have a something not free, you are not free. Some demands are there material, impossible. Any material demands are there, not possible. Guru Dev, may I ask a question? Yeah. One time you tell a story that until this body becomes ash, there is material demand. One time you said, Guru Dev, that until our body becomes ash, until then there is material demand. Right. To whom? Who is not ash present? Who has no desire to be this? If I have a de not desire for this, till my body not become ash, my sense desire will never finish. But what about sense desire? Ego will not disturb us. Nothing can disturb us. What will disturb? When somebody knock you out from that relations, then you burn out, then you become irritated. Because you don't want to one minute, one second lose that relation and connection. Then is a burning. Irritation happening. Because this irritation happening, reason behind this that I don't want to lose that. What I am Meditating, you're bringing out to me. In the childishness, irritation also. He should, crying should come. Mature person will cry. Because why I come again out from that consciousness? They have to cry like Raghunatha. We are a child, we irritate like a baby, irritate with the mother if she not give care to my baby. Irritation is a childish nature. It's not mature nature. Mature nature, when baby cry for mother, is mature nature. Still crying is not there. Missing but not crying is a childish, very small, unmatured. He irritates, he lay down. He wants to fall down like this when fighting, but he is fighting. That losing attention from the whole. Not match. Mm. 
Then we are. We are not aspirant. But then, till my body not become ashes, my material desire will never be there. What about ninety or hundred years? Never. Desire is always there in the senses. Because they are not aspirant. They have no what? Is that a greed? Greed. No desire to Right? Yeah. Why to understand this? When I understand this, then start our way career. I don't want anything that way. And when I will do this, when I have some test for this, without test nobody greedy. For this greediness to go, we need the association for greedy people. And that to have how to be a greedy person. As soon as an aspirant is completely free from all bodily consciousness, he attains Sarupasiddhi, the revelation of his eternal spiritual body in Chinmaya Vrindavana. The revelation without your spiritual body, you will never see Chinmaya Vrindavana. Chinmaya means divine Vrindavan. What you will see? Bhaum Vrindavan, material Vrindavan. When I cannot see the, the land, Chinmaya, divine land, divine circumstances, divine trees and plants, how we imagine to see Radha and Krishna. Impossible. So without Sarup I cannot see that. Chinma Priyan Pritam. Conjugal lover. So when we go with material consciousness, concept we see, oh, are, this is wooden altar, this is a stone altar, this is this, this is that, because my material mind is like that. <laughs> Only material thing I can see. My eyes is material. I have no eyes to see Chinmaya means divine things because I have no Chinmaya body, spiritual body. Therefore, Sri Pada prays, when will I clearly see my divine, tender, manjari form? Yeah, and I will see that. Mm -hmm. Myself. Mm -hmm. 
my spiritual birth. What is to help yourself, to see yourself that you are so, that is help yourself. One person, John asked from Maria Magdalena, what is sin? She said, the forgiveness of soul is the sin. The moment we forget that we are plastic body and senses, we are sinner. We start doing sin after that. The moment you will remember that you are soul, you cannot do any sin. Because you start looking your soul, and when you start looking your soul, you see other soul also. How you can do the sin to your brother and sister? Impossible. So when you will start looking your form of the soul, the body, form of the soul, because you make the personal yourself, you're not only looking the soul, you're looking the soul form. You don't believe in a spark and light on it. You want to see the form. In Bible is mentioned, you cannot imagine God. Right? You cannot imagine God. Why behind this? Because you have no love, how oh, people imagine? You have no love. But if you are love, you, when I was a child, I can see face to face with him. <coughs> Why? Because I have a love with him. When is love, you can see face to face. It's not difficult. Love makes you to see face to face. So Vrindavan is a place to see with your loving eyes, face to face. Not a spark. I'm not interested in a spark. Not interested in the light. I'm interested because I love you, I see you. My eyes satisfied when I see you, because I love you. Then you go to auto hunt. First you stand and watch highway. Then you what you see is spark. Some spark is coming. Slowly you have to wait more, then you see the light. No patience is there to wait. When I see the spark, then we run away, because we have no time more to give. Our sadhana is so short that we are happy with the spark, and when you wait, you will see small or big light. Then you can expect this is a trap or this is a car or motorcycle. By light you can imagine. And slowly, if you have a time for waiting, and you watch and wait, then the same thing is coming to your front. Then you see this is a white color. What this is? This is BMB. Oh, big or small, everything you see, this is the form you can see. But you have to wait after looking to spark to the seeing him. So what I am looking spark. We have to take the patience for that. Then we see that. That's it, form.
is not far. You are looking. But you have to give half an hour in material work. Maybe if you have no knowledge, then it takes long time in a spiritual world. But you have to put some time and energy to wait and meditate on that. We have no time to wait in five minutes because we are so busy for other things. After they are very happy with the spark. They are happy with the light, but they are not. Some are not happy with the spark and light. They want to see the form. It's a materialized business, I see. And a spiritual eyes also can see like this. Yeah. When will I clearly see? Clearly see. I need that reason clearly to see. Because of my cataract I cannot see. But I need the clear reason to see. We have to prepare before Catra come, clear vision only to see Him. Sri Rāda. Hmm. When will I clearly see my Divine, tender, manjari form? I have to see myself first. When I can see myself, I can see you also. That's the point. And how I will see? You are inside. With divine eyes you can see heaven. This is the beauty of divine eyes. Saintly person you go, you only sit there, they see you inside. They go inside you and they x-ray you, A to Z, what is going on or what is happening. <laughs> so, when you will start looking yourself, your mind in your spiritual form, you will get the divine eyes, third eyes, one eyes, not two eyes. One eye is to see only divine things. That we are searching for. And this is, is the easiest process. This is a goal. This is the step to move on in the spiritual life. When you have to see yourself, forget God. Only you have to assign with that. That is the it's step by it's step what? When you reach the ultimate goal. Ultimate goal. It's step by step. This way is one step is this. To see yourself, then again something will then again something will come. When will I clearly see? 
my divine tender manjari form which has all senses like eyes and ears and which is fit for executing devotional service it should be fit it should be hand or you will serve i need eyes i need to listen divine words i need ear i need mouth to eat i need to walk i need feet all we need soul will not move i need the form form can relate the form i see from 10 years this two bulb living together life but honestly i never see any relation in between two lights <laughs> if the light cannot develop relation then what is the use of that but the form you and me can develop relation we can be a good friend you can be a good father and son you can be anything and this give the as the wife to live in in all circumstances life will not be is god is part will not give you an i see ten years before one is part what happened after that nothing happened and i am waiting something more to happen never happened and we die by doing more mistakes in life because we have no desire for doing more we have material money desire catching me because we are conditioned we have so many conditions with my body nature is independent i want to do myself many things and nature two days to be a devotional life and one month has to be holiday so this will not work we have to be greedy for that then it will work and you can see yourself you can see the all divine creation you can relate with that then you can see divine lovers and you can see divine exchange of love on and on new world is start for you what is never a idea about that we know something is there but we don't know what is there so our vision is not one pointed ah huh? our vision is not one pointed right sin is only this that i forget myself my soul because of that i forget so this part and parcel of you so i forget you all so zero i start to practice here i disconnect from you and this is my
When will I clearly see my divine tender manjari form which has all senses like eyes and ears and which is fit for executing devotion service in the luminous arbors of Raja. Yeah. So you have a two home. One is this is garden house and one is your flat, what you buy this for, by gift of mother and father. And one is your sadhana, you generate one home again. That is a divine home. Divine flat, your garden house. If you live in the material home, you you have to deal with that material thing. If you want to live in a spiritual home, you have to be free from others. Your decision. When you in a spiritual home, so flat, what you see, repeat this line. When will I clearly see my divine tender manjari form, which has all senses like eyes and ears, and which is fit for executing devotional service yeah. in the luminous arbors of Raja? Arbor means garden. Huh? Arbor means garden. Yeah. Your garden house, when you will live in garden house, then you can see this. Your decision by you are happy with your material flesh, live there, no problem. You are buying, you buy already, you are living. You are happy. If you are not, little disturbance you feel, try for this spiritual. But you have to know yourself to create that. If you know only one thing, your identification, material identification, impossible for you. And for me also. Impossible. For everyone. Yeah. The Siddha Swarupa, which the sadhaka has received from the Guru or has been instructed in by his Guru, is this divine, tender and ecstatic manjari body. Yeah. That who has that this, I don't want to explain it. This is what? Manjari Bhakti. Then you will say, Guru is giving, honestly, he has no right to give. Guru is not a giving, Swami is giving. But Swami's nature, if you want to say, do something, he is said to his dasis, you do this, you do this. Say that, Are bhai, you are my best friend, you do this, take the birthday party arrangement. And this should be like this. All details he gave at once. And then Siddha make more addition to exclude, uh, exclude that. He put more ideas in same budget how to organize that. This is his intelligence. 
गोपीनाथ जिसमें कि राधा अष्टमी जन्माष्टमी I don't give details. I say it should be very nice. <laughs> it never happened like this. And he put this energy how to make it very nice that everybody appreciates this. That is the dasi is doing the the servants doing the. The friend doing. How I, I can do? I cannot do anything. If you say Radhika has to come and give to me, she has no time to give you. <laughs> But he sent one messenger that you do on my behalf this and give this thing to him. And when we took from Gurudev, we said, "Hey, Gurudev is." Expeculating and putting, and it's a business of expeculation, imagination. If you don't want to do, not do. Imagine, start imagination. When you will imagine, you will realize, because it's a new subject for you. Imagine. You never do this, so you have to imagine. You didn't do the business with the money, with the material senses, with the other thing, but you never do this. You have to imagine that it's also something happening. So why I will do something to imagine there? Yeah? I will do what I know. I say, yeah, do that. If you are happy, do. But this will never make us happy. More and more suffering. And when I am not become more old, I cannot do anything. This is the time that I can imagine something. But material life, if you imagine not happening, you have to afford to do that. You have to use your senses to do something. You have to use your physical body. You have to use your money. You have to use yourself to achieve something. But here, so kind, this only imagine you will get it. It never happen. I do all my efforts. I lose my all time and energy. And after that, I become fifty years old, and I start calculating what I achieve and what I lose. And then I calculate: I achieve nothing, lose everything. <laughs> What I do in material life, life, I achieve nothing, I lose many things. This is material. Here. here you will imagine, you will start achieving the day you start, and in short time you will start realizing and achieving also. And then you will comprehend what I get it and what I lose. Nothing lose. Everything is gaining material side also, spiritual side also. You surprise me. Sridhar, I don't want to go more details in that. When I achieve fifty years, then what I calculating and what I see the losing, and when I come for imagination, how much I achieve, I cannot say. Everything and nothing lose. 
15 years when I am calculating more than that I achieve. Nothing good. Because the real wealth I got is. What is the wealth? Your self realization is your wealth. Self, your identification is your wealth. And life becomes so peace and happy that I have nothing desire now. Fully satisfied. And I see many old person is so much crying and suffering because they have missing the real wealth in life. They come for nothing and die for nothing. But I think that I come for something if I will die for something. Like Jesus. When I see Jesus' life, they say, He died for us. I say, wrong. He never died for me. My forefather not died for me. My grandfather not died for me. Why he bothered to die for me? What I will do right and wrong? How he can go if somebody will die for me two thousand years before? I'm wrong. Are he died for his lover, father. He was so much in love with his father, he died for him. Nobody sees this. He loves his father and he wants to die for his family. So, when we love, then we know the meaning of the life and we, if we feel the beauty of dying of For some purpose I will die, yeah? No meaningless. Die for something in the service. Most luckiest person die for his love. Fortunate. The scriptures say that the sadhaka should always see himself in this Swarupa. Yes. You see yourself, you see your guru, Manjali. If you see your Swarupa, you see your Radharani. First you will see your guru who gave you, oh my God, Thanks for you. You give me. Then the Guru is an anoma. You don't know who gave you my Swami. Then he will catch hand and bring the Swami. She give you. I was only small messenger for you. That time I don't say you will not understand it because you are in the material body. Now I say you honestly. She gave you, cast the feet of her. And you will do everything what she, she will say, your Guru Bhajan. Never do in your life, but now you will start doing. To see always yourself. And whole scripture say self-realization. And what is self? You start with yourself. 
Self is not outside. Self is inside this body. Your spirit, energy of the God, soul. If I will forget, honestly I will do sin because I will forget all your connections. Right or not? See that. Yeah. This is a verse from Sanat Kumar Samhita, an English author. An aspirant should think himself to be amongst them, the other gopis, having an enchanting, beautiful, young, adolescent, female body. Yeah. What you will see, what you are now. If you have a female body, you will see more beautiful female body. If you have male body, again you will see not you are not male body. You have an inside is a female body. Because human body has a special quality. Many I devotees listen, they don't understand that how much respectful it is. Eastern world about the female body. They don't understand. They very much respect. Their respecting is a different system. First thing, all female is like a matrikati. Mother and her. Right or not? Mm-hmm. Yes. Everybody is mother who has a female birth. No, no, but I will say what. So female body can do more than male body. Male body blocks us to enjoy, to forget, to serve devotion. Devotion is natural for the female body. Male body has no nature to do service. Female female nature is the mood of service. Prakriti. Prakriti is the nature to serve and love. Why? They have a big heart. Big feelings. Big kindness with mercy, all they, what you say, preserve, they have achieved. So female body is more easy to do. One time I was in America, I want to share. I will not share, I will feel something in my belly. I hide from you. <laughs> One Muslim family, 
Pakistani family, they are Christians. And I have to go in funeral of them. I was sitting and the priest is talking. And the last moment of talk, he said, when I go to you, I need my female body decorated like a young girl that I am going to marry with. Young girl, prepare to marry with you. I was shocked. Because this is our practice. No, no. Every devotional life, this is the practice. Raja, one person have filed a case against Krishna. We have to stop Bhagavad Gita because this Krishna has a sixteen thousand wife and he is a characterless person. And they worship this. So we have to stop this talking on Bhagavad Gita and all books have to provide it. Cases going on and on. The last day of final thing. Also, one person went to the lawyer for protest about the Bhagavad Gita. He said, Yes, I have one question. Why the Christian woman wear the ring in the name of Jesus, not of what you say? Why they wear? And how many they are? Then they start again date, they calculate the dates, <laughs> number is also more than 16,000 or something. <laughs> he says, stop the preaching for Jesus. He has the money for all over the world. They are married, the gifts. <laughs> oh, no problem. Yeah. They are married with the Jesus. Just say, I understand everything. <laughs> it's all this spiritual meaning in a different meaning. It's all rejected. <laughs> so you see, The meaning how you love, it can be a spiritual love also. Your love is a divine. When you do it, divine. And judge and just understand the divine is the highest. <coughs> is not in our calculation, right? That subject is today born. An aspirant 
should think himself to be amongst them, the other gopis, having... He will! This to change. You are female body, but you are not female still. You know this? You check. Male thing is coming many times. Check. A male is a totally male. He has a practice to be a male. How he will serve? Service was pardon for him. But the female body, service is a nation. You see that? Gift. Although many blockages are there, but there is some feelings with service there. When you have a spiritual body, what will happen that time? And of the female body? Soul is a female man, is a prakriti of purusha, creator, creation. Creator is the man, and creation, all his creation is a female. Go. As a female associate of Radha and Krishna's girl friends, she is dedicated to the services that are ordered to her, and she is decorated with jeweled ornaments that are given to her by Sri Radha as remnants. Gift. All we are wearing is a giving gift by her. And that gift, when we feel gift, has prasad. What do you think? Prasad. Is used in remnants. Then he is more feel connection with that. You all connect. You want to be connected and you want to learn from your ornaments. What is my ornament? My qualities are my ornaments. I have no quality, I have no ornament. Ornaments create your more beauty because when you wear is your ornaments. It looks other more attractive because it's full of qualities. And you wear many ornaments and you have no qualification, no beauty. Ornaments of love make you qualify. Clothes, what is clothes? Is covering of the plastic body. Anyway, you have to cover yourself this material body. There are not much, not, not much to cover, but you, everybody cover to hide his material beauty. If you go to the forest where the what do you say? People, tribes. tribes are living, they no cover. There's no beauty is there because they are not covered themselves. The covering makes you more beautiful. 
But what covering you want in life? Covering of love make you more beautiful. Covering of your qualities, what you ornament, give, take the gift from the divine love. That ornaments will make you more attractive to all the all the place where you go. So covering with the love, ornament of love, mercy gift, this make us wealthy. That is the beauty to make the life beauty. Asisi His father was a rich guy and when he came from the war he realized nothing. Material body is nothing. Kings are dying. So we are living so is all covering. He wear the when he rich clothes clothes of his father and he distributes to others, throwing to us. Father say, You this is my property, how you give to others. He said, Okay, your property. I don't know, Father, that you own this. Sorry, I missed. And the birds are coming to him because he identifies himself that he is a living soul. And he is when he went out. Father said, Okay, very good, he went out. He became a little crazy. When he go and see, he is wearing my one costliest clothes. He stopped, stop. What you are doing is bringing my coat is a very costly one. He said, Yes, Father, sorry. He opened this throat and gave to me. And he totally naked. Where? In the circle, in the in the public. Where the whole family members are standing. He opened the throat and gave to Father. And he was totally naked. Many ladies and old ladies and young ladies are standing and he has no other anything. And he walked away through. It's good that my all covering is gone. I am free of any covering of you. I need the covering of love. And what happened? What he do, you know that. Always his was service mode. Always loving mode. But animals come like him, like his family. The spiritual life is this. When you realize yourself, your spiritual life is not love. Before just to <laughs> passing something without no meaning. The spiritual way of life. You see the Uddhava, your husband. <coughs> he changed or not? Yes. His views change or not? Of course. Give my experience to you. No, 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 no. Please say, say about my Uddhava, what he is doing and how he is behaving with everybody. But I don't know how he behaves with everyone. I know how he behaves with me. <laughs> yes, say that. Before and now, what some change is there or not? Yes. 
has lots of changes. The last five years, I think, a lot of changes in his heart, and he's giving a lot of love. His spiritual life and his marriage also, not the marriage. But I'm not going to say how he was before Guru Dev. <laughs> No problem. You are glorifying him by telling before and now. But I'm his wife, so of course. Yeah. But I can say you, he's so qualified and so full of knowledge that's not easy to accept anyone. He is a guide of Gopika. He is teacher, teacher of so many people. Right or not? Huh? Yeah. So his ego was so high that he did not see anything. Right or not? <laughs> he did not see you also. Right or not? Now he sees you and he feels you and understands you. Right? That is the meaning of life when you can see and feel and love. That's his spiritual life. When he can see himself. He sees the nearest lover. When he can see nearest lover, he can see every circumstances with love. He is, he is in a spiritual life, way of life. Now he was writing only books. He has no time. Only writing, writing, writing. Now also he writes. Right? What he writes? He's writing about uh, Bhagavad Gita, spiritual love, and studying. Okay. Many things he is searching what to write now, that every living being can understand. And I say, your name is Udav, but not write this. Write Peter, your original name. So every normal person will like to read what you are writing. And you will see he will become more famous than before. And his book will, people will like to read, to learn the experience of real the spiritual way. So generous, so gentle person. Before was, but is not like now. Right? Yeah. And now, by the mercy of Krishna, God, they brought me to see each other. Why? Because he has more intense love increase, and then he can write more. This is also is a great mercy in his life. He will write more because he has more love is increasing. And he is American also, my dear. He is also American, right or not? Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> American South <are> genius, <laughs> I can say. <laughs> when they grow for his people, they are genius in material and spiritual both sides. I say you the name, Krishna. He is one of the famous, world famous singer. Ramdas, famous, 
जीवा मुक्ति चालन चालन टेन थाउजेंड सी द लेडी टेन थाउजेंड फॉलोअर्स अमेरिका न्यूयॉर्क जर्मनी and my udhava will be also one of them and because of her love she said to me please you give love to her i said okay I promise you. And by the mercy of Radha Mohan, something happened. <coughs> and he got the some realization, and life is growing like anything. <coughs> wow. in the sun he live in the plants that he is in plants he teach it right so anyone can be a sun sentry nature has to be wife never say easily appreciate to husband not is not very difficult for the wife when she appreciate when she pass then the life grows so you appreciate i feel the best time of the wife coming this time and the ladies are in the new husband his life is success your blessing is also there on the right so this is a spiritual way of living can change many things in your life no yourself identify yourself and by that way you will know everything please ask thank you
Probably yeah. not. Not here. Not here. Rade Rade Go walking, driving, always make it like this, sweet, mellow, and do keep your mind fixed. You know, you are open eyes driving. Rade, Rade, Go, Vinna, you'll be not sleeping. They will also join you. Rade, Rade, Go, Vinda, Go, Vinda, Rade, Rade, Go, Vinda, Go, Vinda, Rade. All things you can do, you can do the cooking. You can do the driving, you can walk with them, mallow. Mallow is important. You go to the bathroom, you take bath, you sing something. And you have to live in the mallow only. Mallow makes your life to be with the feelings. Right? Everybody sings in bathroom. Why you sick? Because it's so cold water. Something is coming. Every place you can be in mallow, and this mallow make you to be one circuit, circle of love and fear. Why this man's name is going on? It's a sweet battle, sweet vibration. It, it makes all negative out and positive growing. So you enter in this gate and you feel positive vibration. Different because of this vibration and this Service is a great person doing to, to generate the mallow and vibe up Radha Mukti. This service could do is a great soul. Who is helping all we have to us. He is sitting near to me. I will not say name. She will agree to me. But she is a female body and giving this mercy to us. Rathay.